And I'm Jerry, and we are the Military Collectible Shop. Welcome to another edition of what's new at the Military Collectible Shop. I just realized I'm not wearing my authorized shirt. He's out of uniform. Uh, I'm going to get written up for this. Uh. Um, yeah. Anyways. Three times you're written up, then you go on. Double secret probation. Yeah. Yeah. We've had that, that happen to Zach. And we all know what happened to Zach. Haven't seen Zach in a while, have no. you? No. Right, exactly. Okay, um, so even though I'm out of uniform, thankfully I'm still wearing pants. Um, this is still the military collectible shop. No, we're not drunk. Uh, but hey, we have and yet <laughs> um, we have an unboxing for you. Uh, since this is a great week for getting stuff in the mail, plus some other stuff that came into the shop, so we're going to share a bunch of stuff with you because that's what we're here for. That's why you're tuned in. Mm. And we actually our latest video had like it's up to like 2,600 views. Wow. That's amazing. I don't know why that is, but hey, thanks for watching. And for the bunch of you that gives us thumbs down, well, you know what you can do with that other thumb. Wow. So, so anyways, I don't even have any idea what's in these boxes. You know, so I'm gonna be as surprised Just as, as surprised. As... Open carefully. I'm gonna use this... Um... Thomas Whitman cutter? Yeah instead of using that stupid knife that I, I whittle away at the package for 15 minutes. All right, well, Mark's taking his own sweet time opening that one. I'm gonna open up a letter. Actually, it's not a letter, it's a package. Oh, I'll try. All right, this is from our friend John in North Dakota. Out in the Nodak. He sends us a couple patches. Awesome, the Flying Badgers. Wow. That was one of the Wisconsin something or other. And then I think these guys are the California something tactical airlift squadron. I think that's California. It's got a bear on it. Oh yeah. I think it's a bear. Maybe it's a giant gopher. Ooh, the gopher state. But the badger's the ones that what we're- What if a badger and a gopher got it? Ooh. My money's on the badger. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, unless it's the Wisconsin football team this year. Because they got their asses handed to them in the last game. All right. Okay, well, so thanks, John. Well, we got this box. The check's in the mail. <laughs> oh, look. It's a good thing I didn't just set this up. This other stuff would have fell out of it. Okay, we got an officer's hat. Uh, U.S. World War II. Nice. The liner's not destroyed. Uh, I think these things are going to poke you in the head if you put it on. Mark's always the optimist of the uh, group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ain't they? Wow, look at this. It's a nice. We'd love case. to see it. But, oh, look at that. It's a World War I Beagle Halb um, plate. And what is this little iron cross here? That's a reservist cross. Ooh, nice. So it would have been a Prussian, um, yeah, Prussian wartime reservist. Hmm, I hope that is something special. I'm sure it is, because normally they don't have those on there. It comes in fancy boxes. All right, well, you're getting the next thing out of that box. I'm opening another package from our friend and fellow YouTuber, Mike in Mexico. Check out his YouTube channel, Mike in Mexico, where he sent us something, Pecho de la Zona. Sopas Orientales. Hmm. It's a menu Ooh. in Spanish. I hope that's in 
pesos because if that's in dollars, it's really expensive. Mmm. I'm getting hungry. Avocados. I recognize that one. Wow. All right. But anyways, he sent us some Mexican Army stuff. Wow. Oh, and he was also cool enough to identify them for us. Oh, cool. Very cool. National Those defense. Those are the only Mexican patches we have now. Yeah, we yeah we don't have any. Oh, airborne uh, personal guard. Neat. Jump wings. That's cool. Air mobile special forces. Ooh. Military medical school. Oh, that's cool. School of War. Ugh. And the third region something. Wow, wow, that's really cool. Well, thank you awesome. very much. Yeah, thanks. I feel bad for the crap I sent you. Right. By crap, I mean collectible rare antique pieces. And look at what we have here. A fire police helmet. Nice. Um, it's missing the leather flap. Always but it missing does the have the flap. liner and... Um, the partial chin strap. Per partial chin strap. But I'm going to make an optimist out of Mark yet. Look at that. It's got most of the chin strap. Right. Mostly there. Ooh, and look, there's a flag. <gasps> um, two of them. Look at that. It's a tricolor flag. Nice. Smells like something. Victory? Yeah. Old. Got a big one, too. This, would, this would be a cotton flag. Mm, that's nice. Nice, not offensive. Oh, but if you want a flag that's just offensive, <laughs> no forgiving. We got one of these center things, um, and it was removed from the flag. I'm sure this is a lot easier to bring home. Than the giant flag it was on? Yeah. Yeah. But there's still something else in here, too. Ooh, the box that just keeps on giving. Oh, yeah, this was cool. I remember this. Wow, it's a holster. First Lieutenant Michael C. Patrick, Company M, 346th Infantry, Metz, Czar. Kind of like a little diary of all the places yeah. he was. This is actually some more of that grouping that we got for those of you who were watching last week, I think, with the, the sign flag. So this oh. is this is from that officer who our research showed was actually a bronze and silver star awardee. Excellent. So I'm not completely sure what the holster's for. I mean, and it's for a pistol. Nice and soft too. You know, a lot of times these things are rock hard and you can't really do much with them. Do, 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 do. Jerry's working on that. Yeah, I should have used it. Um, Jerry also bought this um, rural police hat. That's nice. And it's got like a pointed front. Yeah, it's really kind of a interesting pinched peak. Yeah, I bet you that's from like the Weimar. You know, and uh, just used, and I suppose kept using them. Oh, this actually, this isn't the helmet I thought it was. Oh, this is not the helmet you're looking for? Um, I, no, I forgot about this one. Uh, this is from our friend Chris. Up north. Oh. Wrapped in the snow camouflage. Hey, but if it protects it, it protects it. What a nice job of packing, Chris. Uh, but this is a World War II Seventh Division. World War II? No, did I say World War II? 
Maybe I have been drinking. Maybe I should be drinking. World War One, the war to end all wars. Uh, seventh Division with the hourglass uh, insignia paint on it. Most of the time, the ones that you see from this division are actually the British made ones. And my theory holds true. These have the British split pin, um, you know, the British Brody style helmet, as they call it. Um, technically not officially a Brody because Brody was kind of a type of helmet. Whatever. We'll call him a Brody. Uh, it's a collectorism. But it's got the chin strap for now. Uh, it's got the liner. It's got the donut in the top. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to poke around under no, the asbestos. No, no, it is. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that, that's very cool. Anytime we can find a painted helmet, that's aces in my book. Oh, yeah. All right. A um, couple other things that just came in. We have a little strip of SS visor, well not necessarily visor, they did use them on the visor hats, um, they used them on the M43 hats, and they used them on the fezes. Fez I? What's the, plur what's the plural of fez? Is it fezes? Okay, I don't know. You guys can ponder over that. Um, but a nice factory strip of eagles, um, and a nice factory strip of skulls. So very tickled to get these. And then a factory strip of Schuma insignia for the German, the police guys who were like SSC kind of thing. Uh, this guy was part of the 305th bomb group squadron. Something. Cool. Yeah, so I was very tickled to get those. Uh, uh, since we got this box sitting here. Oh, yeah. We did get um, a selection of um, post World War II U.S. Air Force. Um, unit lighters. Smoke them if you got them. Yeah. So we got uh, four different lighters. Um, one of these is it's marked England. One of them is marked Germany. And um, 79th Fighter Bomber Squadron. That's cool. And this one just says class of 58. 20th Fighter Bomber Wing. Yeah, nice. Yeah, anytime you can find these, you know, original engraved lighters, that's always awesome. Yeah. There were some little uh, airplane pins, like factory pins. Uh, Republic F-105 Thunder Chief. Never really heard of, referred to as the Thunder Chief. Wow. And then there was, you know, pilot's wings and, uh, what is this, the... Senior. The senior. Yeah, senior pilot. pilot. And that's like the hat wings. Yeah, for those of you that watched my video on wings, I didn't really cover the the senior or the, what's after that, the master? Master senior, because there's a, there's a star and then there's a wreath, depending on the number of flight hours that you get. Oh. Because most of the ones you see with the stars and then the wreaths, because of the flying hours, were post World War II, so that's why I didn't cover them in my talk on World War II wings. But if you have an interest in wings, go back and watch that video. So is that post, or is that? Yeah, that be World War II. No, this would be post. And because of the marking on it, the 9M, uh, it it dates to post 1955, but prior to 1963. I believe. Oh, cool. And these are just sterling marked. Um, yeah, those are those are World War II wings. And there was other. No. We can't show. There was a very uh, there's a, a piece of a very adult orientated trench art. We'll call it that. Um, very creative. Um, it's a. Like an action thing. Yeah. Too. Oh, okay, we'll do, a, we'll do a military collectible shop after dark episode. I'll tell the little kids go to bed. Uh, okay, then got some flags. Jerry likes flags. All right. This one is a 44 star US. Don't worry, it's not hitting the ground. Jerry's standing on a stool above a basement. 
and a ladder. So 44 uh, stars, printed stars, which is kind of unusual. The other thing that's neat about this flag is it's actually um, it's a it's a, actually a naval ensign uh, number nine. So this is this is actually a U.S. Uh, Navy flag from 18, 1891. I believe the 44 star was used for a period of about five years. Um, but very cool. You know, so 1891 to maybe 1896. Uh, but very cool that it's actually a naval a naval ensign as well. So um, we'll fold that accordingly. So this would be uh, it'd be too late for Teddy Roosevelt to have sailed his cruiser up right. San Juan Hill. <laughs> right. Uh, and then this one is actually a little earlier. Ooh, that is cool. Yeah, with uh, hand and hand sewn stars. And this one is a 38 star. So just post. Civil War. Um, tech, they usually call this the Colorado flag because that's when Colorado uh, joined the Union. So a nice example, you know, nice early, early looking stars. Kind of the earlier, before they standardized the blue, they, a lot of times you'll see this lighter blue versus the darker federal blue that they eventually did standardize in 1922. Because you'll still see this lighter blue worn or used in World War I as well. But a couple of very, very neat flags. Yeah, I'm so. excited to add these to, to my collection. These are wool flags for those of you playing. Is that a wool or a cotton flag? These are wool. We'll, we'll fold it good when we get out of, out of the these, camera these, thing. These tight, now that you just wanted These tight the proximities. All right. Yeah. Okay, so um, just, you know, some interesting stuff. Uh, and as always, there's more that we either can't get to or... It's have, just too dumb for you guys to see. Well, there's always that. I we're, We are going to do a whole episode sometime on just some of the junk that we buy. So all you people that are like, oh, Jerry gets all that is this stuff. Um, I'm just kidding. That's not what you sound like. That's just what I hear when you complain. Um, but we do buy our share of pure junk. Um, we also have what's known as the pity buy, where it's like, uh, you know, how do you say no to the, you know, 98 year old woman who's got the, you know, 29 inch navy uniform with nothing on it. You know, that she took a bus up here to sell to us. Get out of the shop. Um, so, Get out of the shop and take your Arizona. <laughs> right. Take these other 14 Navy uniforms with you, too. Um, but, you know, I, I, there's something for everybody. So one person's trash is another person's treasure. We just need to find that other person. As our good friend Bill Scott once told us, if I was dumb enough to buy it, there's got to be somebody out there dumber than me. So, yeah. Hey, right. of course it might be this guy. <laughs> How much you got on the flag? <laughs> right. Okay, uh, feel free to send in your questions. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. Uh, and more videos coming soon. Remember to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, wherever it is. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really in that little frame thing. Um, and next time, Jerry will be wearing his shirt. Or I'll be written up. And we even have, we have the new shirts. They're right over there. I could have just put one on, but I didn't. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good night. We will talk to you and see you again soon. Until next time. I'm Mark. And I'm Jerry. And, and we, we are the Military, military Collectibles, Collectibles Shop. Shop.